Hello, Kalina. Good morning. Now he's in her PJs. Oh, Owie. Owie, he'll, she'll, he'll teach you something. He's doing chores. We are, tonight we're, we should uh, just buy these little Tito's. But we won't show that process. We've already done a video that will not be monetized. Guys, because this budding must be too cruel of an act to monetize. to get this area covered in mulch again. So a lot of weeds are coming up, but I don't want them there. This whole area can be mulch. Hi, baby girl. Now, Yelly's kind of scared of chickens because a rooster came at her. Run, run, run. Daddy's gonna go bye-bye. Now, Yelly's running for a hug and a kiss. Because daddy does chores and then he goes to work. Just like my grandpa used to do. And my grandpa milked the cow, but I won't put that burden on my husband. It must be death to washing machine time because a friend, Megan Hurst, who has a YouTube channel as well on her homestead, um, her washing machine went out and so has mine. I know that it's just got sopping wet clothes and um, every time I run it, it's not doing it. I took it out from here. I um, tried to see if there was a clog and there wasn't really. There's a lot of water stopped up in there, so that's interesting. I am going to cut some lilies this morning. And it is a really good idea to cut lilies or any flowers in the morning time so that they haven't been degraded by the sun a little bit. Not degraded, but exhausted by the sun, shall I say. So I'm gonna grab some of the lilies and also I'm going to, I've planted yarrow and I have yarrow everywhere. so. I'm gonna use yarrow as the filler. I'm just gonna cut it about here. You don't wanna to take too much. If you take too much of the lily, then um, the bulbs won't be able to, if you take too much of the lily, then the bulb won't be able to bulb up because the way that the, um, the lilies work is that they, um, they exhaust their bulb while they're growing and then they rebuild bulbs after they're um, done flowering. So I'm just gonna strip the leaves, put it in my water. Sunflowers are a little bit different when you cut them. I'm not going to cut any sunflowers today, but um, you want to cut them and then scald their uh, with hot water, almost boiling water. You want to scald um, scald their stem on the bottom. Where am I going? Okay, over here, where my yarrow is. Buy my Brussels sprouts, and I need to weed. I've got all of these different colors. This is one of the first things I started. And so I've got lots of yarrow and um, it just reseeds itself really well and it's a perennial. So it'll come back up in the same spot and it will reseed itself, which I enjoy. Some people don't enjoy that quality because it gets everywhere. Oh, we've got kittens that are coming to join us. Do you see a kitty? 
Hi babies. Hi babies. My kids are gonna be so sad when you guys leave. My kids are gonna be so sad. One thing you can do is cut out these. I'm gonna carefully cut these out. I'm just gonna use my fingers and grab the knife and slice. Because um, it produces pollen, so pollen will be created right here. And pollen can stain and get over your countertops and stuff. So we'll take those out. Oh, you guys are adorable. Where's my black and white kitty? I hear it meowing. There we go. I could put more yarrow in. Um, oh, you always want to strip the stems of your plants. Um, most of you probably know that, but you want to strip the stems so that the, the leaves don't start rotting in the water. Um, that's an important part. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. Hey, sweetie. Haha, <laughs> it sees itself in my phone. The stems of yarrow are nice and stiff. So it can also kind of hold up some flowers that are a little bit more floppy. So that's good, a good quality. Okay, we're making some eggies this morning and I want you to notice the difference. So this egg is a lot darker. These are medium, this is a little lighter, a little lighter. Those birds were given the same amount of feed access and foraging access. And um, what I have noticed is that breeds do, breeds and every bird's different, a little different, but breeds of birds do make a difference on um, the color of the yolk and therefore the quality of the egg. Because when you see that dark yolk, you know that it has a lot of omega-3 fats. And those are really good for us. We need both omega-6 and omega-3. But the problem is, is with our diet as it is, we get overloaded with omega-6 because all of those vegetable oils, which are not actually vegetable oils, they're seed oils, um, all of those vegetable oils are just loaded with omega-6. And when you think you're getting omega-3 from canola oil, you're not. It gets damaged. It gets very, 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 very damaged. Canola oil is not good either. So butter, ghee, animal fat like lard, all of that is good, especially if that lard was um, organic and saw the sun because if they saw the sun then there's vitamin d in that fat so that's a whole different video that i did but i think i just need to keep repeating it because it's worth repeating animal fat is very good for us to cook with so one cool thing here's my flowers one cool thing is if you have a twisty willow in your yard a twisty willow tree acts kind of like um a preservative for flowers so if you put a little twisty willow branch inside of there just stuck part of the branch inside of the stem then it would help preserve your flowers longer but both the yarrow and um, lilies really have good vase life so they'll be sitting there so uh, out of my observations I've noticed that the white a white leghorn um, lays the egg that's the lightest color and like a black copper moran is the, the very darkest, the very darkest egg that I have seen, the egg yolk. The kittens are looking at the ducklings in the yard. You see those ducklings, right, kitties? They're searching for bugs everywhere. <clears throat> those, those ducklings in particular actually, um, they don't go to their feed very often. There are some young Indian runner ducks. They go to it even less often because I think they felt like they needed to forage for food because I took them away from their feed pail and they were, I think they were scared to go to the uh, feed. And so they just started searching for bugs and they have not stopped. They keep their head down the whole day and they're running around looking for bugs and eating bugs. It's pretty cool.
let's try this. This is the plug. I had somebody come in. I had somebody come in and they drove all the way out here and I feel like I could have fixed this very easily with a YouTube video and all he did was unplug a clog. But I checked the clog yesterday and there was no clog, but I'm kind of curious on if there, oh, yeah. So much water. Oh goodness. I feel like there's gotta be some kind of clog maybe deeper in because the water wasn't draining or draining very slowly. So I had cleared this out. There was a little bit of a clog here, but yeah, at least I didn't get too much water everywhere. anything this is a paint roller I don't see anything in there I'm gonna get this stuck I don't know what that is oh well I gotta get some you needle know, nose pliers to take that paint roller out because it's not going <laughs> I can't get it out well that is gross I may shove it in there farther I don't need a hammer, Sean, but thank you. I wonder if it's just clogged deeper. And with kids and messes and all this stuff, like kids. there is. <sighs> Sean, that's scary. With kids, clogs are inevitable, I feel like. Their clothes get so nasty and dirty. It's amazing. I have to say I did the same thing when I was little. I'm just gonna put it on another cycle and if it's sloppy and wet, then I'll have to just call somebody. Here's a new type of lily that I, um, that I purchased last year. And it is beautiful. I think the name is Hotel California. Terrible name, but beautiful flower. We gotta pick up eggies, don't we, yay yay? Should we pick up eggs? Okay, it doesn't seem sloppy. I don't know how that helped. I have no idea, but I will go ahead and do laundry as if my... Last day of last hatch. Oh, and I can get caught in here, so the best. Okay, hold on here. They kind of got caught on this side. I've had to put, I'll show you this incubator fully, but I've had to put uh, uh, this in here like so because I've had, just hold on Darian. Are you getting good video? Uh -huh. Okay, now I've got to get these guys out. So some of these guys I just have to, I know some people say, don't open the shell, but I've noticed that I have had more, I've had more luck opening these shells. And the, uh, if they're not, if their abdomen isn't closed all the way, then oftentimes they still do okay. Um, they, most of the time they just bleed a little bit. Like that one um, died inside the shell, which is sad, but I've noticed that if I help them, I feel like I have a better hatch. Sometimes they have the sh some shells on the butt. Yeah, well, I use this GQF, incu uh, this is the hatcher, and I use the incubator as well. And I really enjoy these incubators. I think that they are well worth the investment. If you're going to breed any kind of bird um, for a little profit, then uh, or if you want to breed anything, um, it's worth, it's worth investing in.
in my opinion. So there is a very slow leak. It's very slow, so I wonder if I just do a clean basket mode on the um, on the washer that it'll be all right. So we'll see how this load does and we shall see. I use this laundry detergent. There might be an even less toxic one, but I feel good about it. Okay guys, let's talk about how it is that we can ship ducklings. Today I do have, I had my last hatch and for the year and I usually hatch until fall, but this time I have not, I think it's because I just didn't promote a ton. Um, I had a lot less takers on my ducklings this year, which is not, I mean, last, all my other years, I've had so many more takers. I think I focused on YouTube instead. But um, what I do is I, right there, there's a little cup, and it has some grow gel that I put in there that um, it absorbs tons. It's a powder that absorbs tons of moisture, and it's got nutrients in it. They don't really need that, but that's a safe precaution. The deal is, is that in nature, when a mommy is sitting on a nest of eggs, not all of those eggs hatch at the same time. And sometimes it can take up to three days for her to quit trying to hatch all of her eggs. That's really to her discretion. And the baby duck just sits there with her. The last portion of that hatch, she's not gonna get up. She won't, she won't get up. She'll get up on other days, but that last portion of the hatch, she's not gonna get up. So that baby duck just hangs out with mommy and it can hang out for up to three days. The deal is, is inside the egg, I didn't know this until I started hatching, but that yolk is actually not where the baby chick is formed. That baby chick is formed on the outside in the white of the yolk of the egg. And it, it forms and it forms and it forms and it forms. And at the very end, right before the baby chick hatches, and it absorbs some of the nutrients, but the majority of that yolk is soaked up into the belly button at the very end of the hatch and then the belly button closes and then the baby hatches and it starts its life with a load of full tummy. So that is how a baby chick can be safely shipped around the country. So today I am shipping two ducklings to North Carolina. I usually do a minimum of three ducklings, but um, this time I am letting a person purchase two. So we're gonna ship them out today. So it looks like this at first. You put a little bit of powder, tiny bit of powder in, and then within a couple minutes it sets up. It kind of reminds me of like diaper filling because it just, has little crystals. Let me just fill that up. And right here I have a heat pad for them. That stays warm for 72 hours. And they can sit on that or they can get away from it. So I'm only shipping two. So otherwise I wouldn't have to put a heat pad in here um, because they would be fine if there were like you know, 10 or more ducklings, or even less if I have enough hay in here. They've done fine, especially if it's warm outside and not cold. Okay, they are ready. Yeah, cuties. Uh-oh. So I posted a video on how to tell and determine the sex of the duckling, and I'll post a card here, and I'll put a link at the end of the video um, so that you guys can uh, try to sex the ducklings yourself because Boy ducklings have penises, and that is uh, unique to waterfowl. Waterfowl have penises. Chickens do not have penises. They're very much harder to sex than a duck. So I wanna look up the research on this, but in a book that I just read, um, Eat Smarter, he, uh, he writes that duck eggs have 
six times, six times the amount of vitamin D in them. I'm thinking, I wonder what that study, if that study was comparing like a, a hen that was like caged inside of a building versus a duck that usually you don't cage them inside buildings. They're easier to manage outside on a pasture. I wonder, I wonder what that study was. It also said more omega-3s, but then again, I'm curious about that study because I think they could be pretty comparable if that chicken was able to get out on grass and see the sun. Here we go, we're gonna ship away. We got stopped by a train. I picked up from our local store some sweet potato plants. I love sweet potatoes. Mm-hmm. I also love their taste. Oh boy. Um, it's not an organic store though, Darian, so back off. Don't, yeah, it's not organic, probably. Get back in your seat. I don't want you to eat yucky, fertilized stuff. Um, yep, we're gonna plant, we're gonna take and harvest our garlic, and we're going to plant the sweet potatoes. I know it's late, but they could still have a decent crop. So we'll see how they do.